most of the criticism of Phasma's performance in The Last Jedi typically centers around two things. Either she was underutilized or her fight scene with Finn was not exciting enough or too short or basically just inadequate and didn't meet our expectations. Now, to the first point, yes, in The Force Awakens she had a substantial amount of dialogue, much of it with Finn, and it really gave a sense of who she was and what she's about. Fast forward to The Last Jedi and she really didn't have much dialogue at all. In fact, I had to literally go back and watch that whole fight sequence to remember if she had said anything at all, to be perfectly frank. And when she's laying there on that, I don't even know what the hell that is, a steel bulkhead or whatever that's about to collapse, and they're showing her one eye and everything, you know what I'm talking about. I don't even remember what her last words were, if she even said anything, to be perfectly honest. They weren't memorable, they were totally inconsequential, and by that point nobody really even cared. I mean, let's face it, nothing she said was advancing the plot, or storyline, or the trilogy saga, or anything. So, anything she said wasn't really that important. Now. As far as the fight scene, it lasted about one minute. Yeah, I timed it. I actually went back and timed it. Now, to be honest, I didn't come away thinking it was too short or anything like that. Uh, to be fair, this was a fight between two minor characters. Phasma, in this film, was a minor character, let's face it. Finn. In this film was a minor character, let's face it, Rey, Kylo Ren, Snoke, Luke, uh, Holdo, Leia, they were, they were the major characters. Finn was a minor character. So the, the, the outcome of their fight wasn't really going to have any impact uh, on the rest of the film. I mean, if you think about it, if Phasma had killed Finn in that fight and Finn wasn't around, for the rest of the film, it would not have changed anything. Remember, as it turned out, Finn was unsuccessful in flying that craft into the mini Death Star. So whether he was on that mission or not, it wasn't going to change how the whole situation turned out. So in the end, Phasma plummets down that fiery shaft uh, as we have seen time and time again in this franchise that's not necessarily enough to kill anybody and people have come back uh, so uh, in all likelihood she's dead but you just never know <laughs>